Well, hello, this is Drunky Tech. This is my product review series where I dive deep down into the deepest, darkest pits of Amazon and I review those products. Today, Well, initial reactions to this box is I actually kind of like the build quality. It's uh, covered with uh, rubber, rubber material that's coated alongside the... The video does not do it justice as I believe this LED screen shows up better than uh, what I would uh, see through the video. All right, this is a 16-bit uh, display on this box. It has various functions that it displays as you are watching it. You can either display the time, which shows up as a digital watch or a timepiece. It also can display the track audio that you're playing through the Bluetooth speaker. I find this part kind of annoying because you have big giant text going across the screen and it just looks like a mess the third thing this display does is show pixelated pictures on the front of the display now the company has a their own app where you can go on and download multiple different types of pictures movable onto the display it also allows you to search the existing libraries for anything that might pop up it also lets you design your own pixelated artwork and upload it to the device and upload it to the community. Uh, now, one thing I had to say when you're going through the uh, community library, the images rendered in the library are more than 16 bits. And sometimes you'll get a picture that looks awesome. And once you download it onto the device, it doesn't sound doesn't look as so this device also has a speaker to it on the back so playing through music through this back it actually sounds not too bad and when i compare it to my other speaker the jbl this device actually sounds a lot better than this one so one downside with this speaker box is its battery life so you can have this device and it will last about six hours and it'll be dead, which is kind of short for uh, a speaker. But when you take into consideration that you're combining both a screen and a speaker, it, it's kind of justified. Compared to this thing, it lasts probably a day or two without me having to charge it. So as far as charging, I would say that it lasts, it takes about six hours for it to fully charge. That's dependent on your uh, charger. If you have a good charger that allows you to draw a lot of amperage, it'll take about four hours. So one downside about this device is it sounds 
best when your speaker is facing towards you. So you lose the ability to see your display when you want to hear good music. So you can either play the good music or have it displayed like this and the sound will echo off the back of the wall which isn't your highest quality sound. Right here I am doing a drop test. This is to gauge the durability of the object. So here I shown that I'm dropping it uh, 10 times in a row onto the flat carpet so it didn't damage or wreck or scratch the object at all. But my recommendation for this object is I wouldn't take it outside. I wouldn't uh, put it in the rain. Don't let it get wet. I don't use it in a spot where you know you're going to have to be high up and if it drops it'll break. Here I dropped it on a hardwood floor. When you pick it up, it looks all fine. So it should be fine on something. All right, so who do I think this product is for? I think teenagers or 10, 12 year old on up. Anybody that would enjoy that, particularly if they're into uh, video games, if they like doing pixelated art, it'd be for them. You know, I actually enjoyed it. I wasn't expecting much out of it when I got it, but after I used it and ended up liking it. So when I was actually out there and throwing it on the floor on the hardwood, I was hoping that it wouldn't break, and it didn't break. Setting up the device is easy. You just go to your Bluetooth, and you find Timebox Evo Audio. Then now you go to your Play Store, and you look for the so you have the Devu app. You can use that as a search term. It'll show up as the Pixel Art Editor. Once the app opens, it'll pop up to a login screen where you'll need to create a login and password. So once you open the screen on the app, it'll look for your device. You'll let it allow it to find it. And it'll search and it'll find it automatically. From this point, you can search for any pixel art. So you put in Bowser for artwork. I select one of these. And it'll pop up on the display. The one other cool feature it has is it'll allow you to set multiple pictures and loop through those. And so you just search and you add additional pictures in there and it'll create an entire loop of different there are other features that are covered in this app that you'll need to look at you can change the clock you can change the color of your clock you can learn and there are other various things you can do with this so in summary I think it's a good uh, deal and I think it's a good idea so you can find the link in the description and please like and share this video if you enjoyed it.